Arx, I think you should play Xenoblade even if Xenoblade X doesn't, uh, manifest. <laughs> we could manage that, yeah? Okay, that sounds good. Uh, the new ma mana game looks really good. What's the new mana game? Did, was that shown during, um, the Xbox, uh, live? Because I haven't, I actually did not see any of the Xbox stuff. If you go early, you have access to the full park with little lines. You, you think I can wake up early? How bold of you to assume I can wake up early. <laughs> Should go downstairs with everyone. Miss you all. I hope everyone's having a nice day. Yes, yes, go. Go have fun with uh, Hannah and your family. Enjoy the beach for, for us, please, Natsu. I'll see you next time. Visions of Mana. New trailer dropped earlier today. Let me go ahead and look at it. I will say... I've not played a single mana game outside of... Oh, they did 15 hours ago. Damn! Um, I've not played a single mana game outside of... Uh, oops, outside of Legends of Mana, though. So I might be, like, completely out of my... Uh field here. That day, I accepted my fate and left my village. A person chosen to offer their soul to the goddess, an alm, must journey to the mana tree. The mana of the world is replenished <gasps> through oh, that that's the exact... Oh, okay. All the elementals look exactly like the elementals in Legend. ...necessary to preserve a future for the whole world. It is our duty, much as a soul guard's duty is to protect us. We all have our individual roles to play. Ways of life. All of Dragon the girl? ...the future. And I am proud to be the bearer... Cat of girl? ...mission. For those who may come after. There's the squirrel girl and she's purple. There you go, Arx. I don't want to have to give all of this flower up. girl. I want to keep living my life. Or plant plant I girl. I realize that. I know that what I really want is to stay here and keep making memories with you. Val. This sounds like a romance story also. It looks so pretty. I like the palette they're using. It's my duty to protect the alms from harm. Hina, any monsters we meet along our journey. The rabbits, the poor rabbits, be nice to them. Change my mind. I'll become the alms and make you see you were wrong about me, about everything. The town no longer benefits from its Kaiji Tang is a cat boy prince looking cat boy let's go i am counting on your protection on our journey is a cat arms are appointed not there's nothing i can do about this woodland custodian okay that's a cute title i don't know about her big hat leaf hat bucket leaf hat but she cute Oh, when she started spraying, a bunch of Udin Deans came out. Oh, the squirrel girl uses a spear. Oh, no. Perfect opportunity to collect data. <gasps> you can ride. And you can fly. The name's Orin. Until we <gasps> Oh my god, it's Lil Cactus! Oh my god, it's the trees! Oh, what? what is it called? Why are there characters from Legends here? May you safely reach your journey's end. Why is Nicola there? So many alms have given their souls to the mana tree. Their strong hearts created a better tomorrow. 
to protect the next generation. We will protect the mana tree. We will protect the entire world. The 29th. Okay, write that down. Where's my pin? PlayStation's gonna make me give them money. Hi, Hi I don't know who you are. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Wait, so is this a remake of that Visions of Mana that it just tried to autoplay? Is this a remake? It says it's a brand new title, though. Revolving around the Sacred Sword and Mana. Uh, interesting. Okay, I'll play it. I'll play it. I wasn't expecting little cactus. What the fuck? Little cactus, my dude. Wrote down all my adventures in his diary. No, I did not. I was not aware. Because, like, okay, so, like, from what I had always understood was Legend of Mana was the black sheep out of the Mana series. Uh, so I always felt like the 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 main titles didn't really mesh uh compared to how much i enjoyed legends of mana so that's why i never really played any of the other mana games i think i tried to play sort of mana i tried to play one of the ones that were was on the uh handheld and i didn't get very far it just didn't enrapture me the way legend of mana did this one though uh looks like it's got some of those elements in there the artifact thing's not there but i do like the fact that you can I embed uh the elements uh into your your gameplay style it looks good i'm excited i'm excited for it i didn't get to play the the previous one which i think was a remake um i don't know if you've played any of the more recent titles cat but I think, I think that one was for Switch, wasn't it? It's where, it's where when you would load the title screen, a different party member would say the, the, the name of the title of the game. You have the other recent one, but you haven't played it. Okay, that's, that's fine. I get that. You gotta pick and choose. Right, backlogged. I get that. You gotta pick and choose very carefully. You've only played the PS1 title and a PS2 one? Uh, I'm pretty sure the PS2 one is Legends of Mana Arcs. The one that I really liked where you, uh, where it was like kind of RNG, what kind of uh, quest slash story you would run into. Um, and the only way to get to other places is you'd get them as, uh, an artifact, either by talking to people or finishing a quest, and you'd have to place them on the map to bring them to life and get access to them. Sounds about right, yeah? Yeah, and then there, there was the monster corral. I really liked hatching monsters that you could use as, uh, party members for that as well. But, so that game is kind of hard to 100% because... Uh, I think there's two places or at least two quests you are locked out of unless you are able to properly place the artifacts on the map because, um, you had to make sure they're elemental, like, um, uh, flow with certain, with the certain elements, uh, reached a certain amount. You have a deep hate ship with those titles. <laughs> I tried to play the OG Mana game and I wasn't feeling it. So, but I mean, I could always go back and try it again. Um, I know when I was younger, there were games I tried to play that I just either couldn't get used to or just didn't like. And then when I went back to try them a another time, I really loved them. Dragon Age was actually one of them. I tried to play Dragon Age Origins maybe a year or two before I actually played it and it stuck with me. Oh, you don't like the saga games. Oh, you don't like the rom romancing, romancing saga. Yeah, I get that. It's not for everybody. I only played one of those two personally, but I never finished it. 
I think it was I think it was specifically Romancing Saga on the PS2. I got kind of far, I think, but then I think I think I got kind of locked into where I had to do a certain thing to progress and I just uh could not get past the the fight. I'm definitely finding there are games I didn't like growing up that I enjoy now, so I'm trying to give some of those games a second chance now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then there's some that I haven't even had the chance to play. Like, I know, Kat, you've played a lot of Kirby recently. I've never played a Kirby in my entire life. It just never ended up in my hands or my household while I was growing up as a kid. So that's, like, something, a series I should definitely try at some point. Um... I know there's some other ones, but some a lot of those are also RPGs, so they're like really long series. So, and I think before <laughs> I think before I try new series that I've not tried or played before, I would rather get through my backlog first. <laughs> if since I already owed it, I should probably do it instead of buying more to put to the backlog. Oh, it's already almost 10. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good with the re reacting. I did, I did yap more than I thought I would. But uh, I'm definitely glad that Visions of Mana was brought up. I'm gonna... I think for Wheel Wednesday, I'll just spin one thing and play that. And I'll play that for like an hour or so. 